Welcome to CorelCAD. Um, today I'm going to uh, design a knob. Uh, here's what it looks like. I'm going to fast forward quite a bit because it's going to take me a little while and it's quite a complicated piece but uh, hopefully I'll get all the right pieces edited in so you can see what I did. Uh, draw out a rough sketch. It doesn't matter if it's accurate. Just put in the dimensions that are important. So now we've got our final shape. Generally there, there's one piece. We'll just uh, unify these. We don't really need to unify them yet, but we'll, we'll start. Now, we, next thing we want to do is put some knurling around the knob. Uh, I'm going to start with a square. Remember each of the divisions has got to be about 3mm according to my notes if you're able to read them. Uh, I'm impressed if you did because I can't really read them. I'm just going to draw a general shape. Uh, a square, dimensions, I want it 3 mil in one direction and I want the vertical one. Now, that doesn't look like it's anything useful, but if we align it by clicking on it and then moving it to the quadrant we now have something that's roughly in the way. Just one thing, um, sometimes it's good to come out a little bit from the circle so uh, after we expand that and we'll move it a touch until we know that uh, definitely going to cut a clear square out of all of them. I'll just extrude him, going down a bit past where I want to help because it makes it easier to spot. Move this entity, I want to move it uh, displacement of 0, comma, negative 0 0.02 because it's negative y and 0 in the z-axis and that pops it out just a little bit shy. Then I'm going to use that to make a pattern. Uh, solid 3D operations pattern 3D on that. Uh, circular, uh, I want 8 of them, I want 2, 360, I want to rotate, yes. And the center point is just go to the circle to get it, E snap, and here, and we're done. Now we've got to cut them out. A bit longer, gives you more spots to click on makes me stand out a bit more. It's not always good, but this time it's easy. And now I've got the general shape, but those edges are pretty sharp. I reckon I'd cut my fingers on them even if they were printed in plastic. So now we've got to uh, start filleting them. So we're going to use solid, 3D operations, and then we're going to, uh, sorry, solid editing, fillet edges. Then we can fill it inside and outside radius. Um, we're using the 2D mode rather than the the hidden view. Um, I'll show you why. Um, because we can't see all of the lines easily this way. Also if we accidentally click on one of these bottom lines uh, we'll end up filleting in the wrong direction and that would uh, that would kind of be a problem. So uh, when you fill it remember to do it in 2D mode. It's much easier. Solid, solid editing, fill it edges through and click on them all. You can hold down shift if you want to do more than one. The way I've designed it, I should be able to do about four of the sections at a time. It, and we're almost done. Okay, now if we look at it from the top, we've got that nice knurl pattern around the edge with soft edges. That's, uh, that's a good shape. Uh, we still need to put the um, uh, hole in the side for the grub screw and uh, we also need to put a hole in the bottom for the shaft of the switch uh, and also a flat key to make sure that the switch turns. Uh, now I've made some estimates for how big it actually needs to be rather than making allowances afterwards because I couldn't measure inside and uh, if we do it like that it should be okay. Now, although we've created a scaffold there on a 3D part, it's not going to be very straight. We can look here to see where it's gone through, and it's right up on this side. You can just see it up here, right about there. That's all right. We'll put the uh, hole in on this side. First, we need to uh, make a change to the CCS.
and then sometimes when you make a complex change like that just check to see if the CCS is in the right location Hit X and Y is on that plane I'll make a hole roughly in the middle so I don't have to do much work diameter uh, 2.5 that'll help me see what I'm doing when I'm extruding it you can extrude it all the way through to uh, roughly where the center is because uh, there'll be a hole in there and we'll delete that now you've got to put the main hole in the bottom uh, we want to take that through as far as we reasonably can center, we want a diameter of uh, 3.3 .3 It's got to go down minus 10, and then we'll subtract it. I want to locate the bottom there, and I'll just create as, a, as I did before. There's the bottom of the hole. And uh, dimensions. X can be a bit larger, can be 5, just so it's big enough. The vertical dimension will be um, uh, 0.5 and we can align it. orbit to see if that's in the right spot at the bottom of the hole and sure enough it's exactly where it's gone 7.8 mil is how long that has to be so let's extrude it 7.8 and again constrained view don't be afraid to use it a lot make sure everything is as it is and we seem to have that key the other problem is in doing the key I've now cut off this hole, so I'll just quickly move the coordinates to this hole again. CCS. Here. and then uh, I can very just quickly match the hole and I can extrude it uh, how far do I have to go? yeah, that'll be enough and what we have there is the grub screw guide going straight into the hole. Now at this point we just want to check everything back to shade, uh, back to uh, hidden view and then constrained orbit. But the clearance to the key that looks good, knob looks good, the hole looks good. So I think we have just about everything.